at this point we have a good understanding of how to send triggers out and how to send voltages out of the CV outputs. Now one thing to note is that the voltages we're sending out right now, even when using the VV operator to specify them, so, oh, uh, they're immediate. That is, the minute we fire off the command, it immediately changes to that. For some things, that's super useful. Uh, for other things, we might want more gradual changes. And if you've done a lot of patching with URAG module uh, you'll probably have come across this before. And you'll probably use a tool called a slew limiter. And so what that does is any changes in value doesn't go into effect immediately. Instead, it gets gradually applied. And each of the outputs on the teletype of the CV outputs one through four can have its own slew time set. And first we can take a look at the output we're using right now, CV4. Let's try to read what its current slew time is. And we simply use CV.slu and then the output that we're interested in. MLC1. So that's pretty immediate since this is in milliseconds. But we can try to specify something else. So let's set the slew of four to 5,000, so five seconds. So now, if you want to change the value from the current one volt way up to, say, six. you'll notice that it's happening gradually. The other thing you'll notice, let's try to set it back down, is this little icon here, a little division symbol. That means that a uh, slew is currently in effect. So it's all the way up to nine volts. Sure, it's a lot. Set down zero. And so, what happens if we send off another change right after we've set one off? So, let's try that. Set it all the way up to 10 volt. And then, immediately after, I'm going to set it back down to zero. So what we can see there is the minute I changed it, the slew started moving back down towards it. Now another interesting option we have is, let's say we have a really long slew happening. Um, let's set the slew time to, let's say 15 seconds. I don't actually know what the limit is, but let's see if it'll do this. And then let's set it all the way up to 10 volts. Yeah, it's happening ever so slightly. So what if we're in the middle of a long screw like that, and we now know that we want to go immediately to some value, but it might not be, like we, we don't want to have the slew on and move to it. Well, there's a command for that as well. And the command is cv.set. So that sets it immediately to a value and bypasses any slew. So let's just set it going down towards zero. And then in the middle of that, I'll use the CV set to set it some value. That's about it for slew. Um, slew is really useful if you're doing gradual changes of CV values to modulate something in your rack. Um, you can also use it as a kind of a, um, it's called like a slow glide between pitches, um, but it is a little hard 
to get to work when you want it and when you don't want it because you typically don't want to glide between all notes. Uh, but we'll look at that later and we'll look at little tricks to that hat to make that happen um, in a way that, that actually sequences nice. Uh, that's about it for now. This was a slightly error prone video, but I hope it was still useful. And I hope to be back soon with another one.